How to catch a dinosaur. <laughs> How to Catch a Dinosaur by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. Can you see the science fair poster? It's on the wall. And it says there is a prize for winning. What's the prize? It's a brand new bike. Yes. That's great. This is exactly what I want. The boy needed a new bike. Can you see what's wrong with his bike? The light is broken. Also, the bar in the middle of his bike needs some tape to keep it together. There's also some brown rust. That's when the metal goes orange and brown and is rough. I need to catch the dinosaur so I can get a new bike. Can he do it? Let's see. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. The boy thought that dinosaurs must be alive because other animals that lived a long time ago were also alive today, such as crocodiles. Hmm. I need a plan to catch the dinosaur. <laughs> the boy clearly liked dinosaurs. He had so many dinosaurs in his room. Can you see the dinosaurs? How many are there in the room? There are three on the table! A pink one, a blue one, and a green one! This one is a crocodile, but crocodiles are dinosaurs because they lived millions of years ago too! There's also two more dinosaurs on a shelf! There is one more dinosaur, can you see it? It's the big one on the drawers! It looks like a shark, but it's a dinosaur called a Megalodon. That's like a big shark, but the Megalodon has never been seen. They've only found the bones. The boy can't catch a dinosaur alone, so his friends were there to help. One boy is creating a trap. There's a cage and a pulley and some pedals. There are also two girls. What are they doing? They have some blueprints to some possible traps. Oh, they're making traps to catch the dinosaur. We can do it. What's their plan? We head straight to the local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait! What's that thing over there? Yes! I think it's a dinosaur tail! Where is the dinosaur? Can you see it? There it is! It's a tail! The tail is green and it has leaf-like patterns on it. The dinosaur is camouflaged, which means it looks like the trees and the plants that it lives around. All the boys' friends rode their bikes to the park. The boys' friends have very nice new bikes, but the boy does not. That's why his friends are helping him. They want him to win a new bike. 
There is a sign. The sign says keep off the grass. But there's a swing on the tree. Why would they want people not to go on the grass? Oh, I know why. Because there is a dangerous dinosaur running around. The dino is more bird than reptile. We learnt in science class, that's true. We've got our first dinosaur clue. The boy believed dinosaurs are more like birds. That's why he put birdseed in the cage. Can you see any clues that a dinosaur was nearby? There are some muddy footprints on the grass. And they look like chicken feet. Very big chicken feet. Also, the boy's friend has found a blue feather. Look! Does that belong to the dinosaur? Snap! The cage closed. But the dinosaur was too quick. And it got away. <sighs> but they did catch something. A little blue bird. I think the feather belongs to the little blue bird. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. A volcano? It's huge! Wait, that was not a real volcano. It was a model. The boy and his friends had used two ingredients to make foamy smoke. Do you know what the ingredients were? It was baking soda, also called baking powder, and some vinegar. When you mix these two ingredients together, they will expand and explode into a foamy mess. They tried to block the dinosaur with the volcano, but the dinosaur is too smart and ran past. They also tried to stop the dinosaur with a plant, but a special plant called a Venus flytrap. Do you know what this plant eats? That's right, flies, but they also eat many other insects even small animals. Maybe a very large Venus flytrap can even eat a small boy or girl. But they can't eat dinosaurs. This dinosaur took a big bite out of the Venus flytrap. Chomp! Oh no! And it ran away! <laughs> This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her. <laughs> so, this is no time to worry. Ew! Why is the swimming pool pink? Oh, the boy and his friends filled the swimming pool with pink slime. It looks very sticky. They also wrote a welcoming sign. It said, Dinosaurs swim for free. But the dinosaur didn't swim. It ran so fast that it skipped across the swimming pool. Some lizards can run across water just like that too. <laughs> Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be she's onto my tricks? What is this trap? There are two skateboards and there is a blue box on top of each skateboard. But what is that on top of the skateboards? It's two magnets. Magnets are a special type of metal that pull themselves together. Zboom! They tried to trap the dinosaur between the two boxes. But the dinosaur also has a skateboard. And it was too quick to get trapped. <laughs> Ugh. 
Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. I ruined mum's prize winning roses. Oh no, the petals of the flowers have broken off and are flying everywhere. We made a prehistoric playground and with lots of friends to play. Our dino won't be able to resist. This time, she won't get away. This trap looks very complex. There were a lot of thick nets attached to a big box, which was hanging from a tree by some ropes. But who were the friends that the dinosaur was going to play with? It couldn't be the boy and his friends, because they keep trying to catch the dinosaur. The dinosaur isn't going to want to play with them. Ah, I see. There were some big, colourful dinosaur toys under the box. They look like dinosaur friends. They also made some dinosaur models. Can you see the dinosaur models? There is one next to the girl. Also, the boy's friend is carrying one. They were hoping that the dinosaur will believe that these were some dino friends. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes and decks. But this dinosaur smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. The word Rex in T-Rex is spelt R-E-X, but it sounds just like the word for destroying things, which is spelt W-R-E-C-K-S. The boy thought that the dinosaur's name should be T-Rex, but spelt like W-R-E-C-K-S because it destroyed his trap and with ease. The boy is now looking a little bit sad. It looked like he was never going to catch a dinosaur. My mum is an engineer, so I've learnt a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. Engineers are good at making machines, like robots. The boy had made a robot that can find and tightly hug a dinosaur. But that's not a dinosaur there. What is that? Robo Hugger 9000 has found dinosaur. That's not a dinosaur. It's a lizard. Well, they do look a lot like dinosaurs. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing up like a bird. If I don't catch the dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. Bark, 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 bark. Where is the dinosaur? Bark, 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 bark. There it is! The dinosaur is wearing a disguise. It had on a chicken mask and it had some feathers attached to its tail and arms. It looks like a bird. But how did this trick the robot? <coughs> Does not compute. Does not compute. That is a chicken. Dinosaurs do not have feathers. They do not have yellow beaks. Must find dinosaur. The Robo Hugger 9000 was confused. It didn't think the real dinosaur was a dinosaur. So the robot hugged a pink stuffed dinosaur instead. Is this dinosaur? Here is your dinosaur. Um, that's not a dinosaur. The boy was now very worried that he will be third in the science fair. But he needed to be first to get a new bike. 
We didn't catch a dinosaur! I don't know what to do! But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. Can you remember what inventions did they make to try and catch the dinosaur? They made some pink slime. They made a cage, a volcano, and maybe, best of all, a robot. Robo Hugger 9000 has found dinosaur. Please take dinosaur. We did it! Yay! The children entered all the inventions and won first prize. The boy got a new bike. He can now keep up with his friends when they go riding in the park. There's the dinosaur! <laughs> Better luck next time! But where is that dinosaur? Is it in the living room? No. There's a bone here and an open can. And there's a ladder that goes up to what looks like a little hatch door. Also, the walls look like dirt. <gasps> the dinosaur isn't in the living room. No, she is under the living room. She had a nice home under the living room. She has a TV, a nice armchair, and a lovely picture of her family. But what is this under the picture? That is an old heater that burns wood to keep the room warm. Most dinosaurs only like the warm weather. Learning to read can be fun and easy. Go to fabcatbooks.uk to discover the games and activities. Get your free trial now! Make learning phonics easy and fun with the virtual teacher, which allows your child to learn along with me. A, N, T, Ant. Complete various exercises. Ant. And read unique stories written by myself. Ant and Fat Cat. An ant is in ink. They're designed to be easily read in the early stages of their reading and will build up your child's confidence. Also, make the end of the lesson revision fun with one of the phonics games. Ant. Download some free lessons now at fatcatbooks.uk.